All right, so finally we're back with some more Hogwarts Legacy. It's honestly been a while, but uh, yeah, we're going to continue with the main story. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's just get right into it. I honestly haven't been to the Three Broomsticks in a while. I think it was since that uh, side mission where we talked to that girl about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. All right, let's see how can you trust the goblin. I'm glad to hear it. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly. Which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. Took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Uh, what have you heard about Ranrock and Rookwood? Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you... You know, it's got to be pretty interesting seeing what uh, Ladgog has to say about Ranrock or Lodgok. Yeah, Lodgok. Hello, Lodgok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember the three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Uh, Serona trusts me. Perhaps I misjudged you. Let's go with perhaps I'm now. <laughs> Serona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. So that means they were pretty close back in the day. Yeah, I was gonna say, it kind of sounds like a trap. I don't know, I'll just play along. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. 
You know, if anything, I feel like this witch's tomb thing might just be like a trial for a lot of for us in order for us to gain his trust or for him to gain our trust, I should say. <laughs> All right. So uh, if it's going to be kind of like a trial and it's a witch's tomb that can only be, be accessed by witches or wizards, I feel like there's going to be some combat. So uh, should I get more? You know what? Let's just get some more heals. Let's get some more uh, Wicked well, Weld. Do you let me know if I can be of any it won't hurt, right? Does he have we Okay, he does. Okay. A wise decision. Yeah, because I haven't been here in a while. I've been getting all my wig and weld from like fallen enemies and from my um um what you might call it the uh, the secret room in Hogwarts. I forgot the name. It's like escaping me right now. Um, should we get one of these two Thunder Brew? I haven't really used this. I don't know if I want to waste that much on just one potion. Uh, Duras potion. Yeah, let's go with some of Duras. Let's go with some of that. I haven't used that in a while. Thank you. Uh, focus potion. That doesn't sound too bad. I'm not gonna use it though. Screw it. Nah. Let's go with some more. Uh, or let's go with some Maxima. I haven't used this in a while. I think. A wise decision. Thank you. Yeah, I think I'm good. All right. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawen. Save me a lot of time. So yeah, I have what was it? Twelve? Yeah, twelve Wigan Weld. I should be alright now. Alright. What what is she so happy about? <laughs> I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. Still upsets me that there's no uh, photo mode in this game. Known as the helmet of Urtgot, the witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. So what I got from this is that the goblins are basically like the Chinese. With pandas, you know. Technically, no pandas outside the world belong to that certain country that has the pandas. But they all belong to China. They're basically being borrowed. That's what I got from this. Who are the enemies over there? I think there's just some couple of mongrels. Yeah, they're mongrels. All right. I hope he could walk a little faster because I mean, we're just going to walk to the tomb. I don't think there's no reason to. I could just like maybe put him in my broom. Wait, can I use my broom? No, I can't. It's still part of Hogsmeade apparently. Yeah, I guess we're walking over there. Might as well get this uh, on the way. There we go. Oh, he runs. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Okay. So we were just walking there. Jesus. It's going to take us half an hour just to go up the stairs. Ah, and there it is. Witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? Hold on, before we do get started, I want to check something out. Where is this place located exactly? I'm trying to remember if I've been in here or not. Okay, I haven't. So, yeah, because I haven't collected any chests. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this is going to be like brand new territory for me. I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? Uh, let's see. What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Urtgot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost. 
of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. But I feel like even then, I feel like Ranrock would be like suspicious of him. He would have been like, how did you even get this if they're not, if uh, goblins are not allowed to go in it? You know what I mean? Or can't go in. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. All right, then. It seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. Yeah, so I've already encountered the inferior a couple of times. Your return. Please be careful. And uh, they're not fun to play around with, to be honest, because uh, they, like, jump at you. And not to mention that no spells can harm them unless they're being damaged by, like, fire spells. Ooh, that's, uh, interesting. Yeah, good thing we were wearing this cloak as well. We look like a freaking glow stick as well, so there's that. What is this? Take some of that. Hold on, do we have uh, the thing equipped? No, we don't. Okay, so, uh, you know what? We might need the uh, Lumos this mission, so I'll just equip it there for the meantime. Lumos. Oh, better mean to do that. Lumos. Oh, curious. Yeah, you already know shit's about to go down when, uh, before starting the uh, mission, they start giving you Wigan Weld. Actually, change this as well. Make sure I have some of this. What is this? Venomous Tentacula? Is that what it's called? And uh, what is this? Some Maxima? Yeah, let's go with some Maxima to increase our. Um... Oh wait, we can't. We can't have these two equipped. I guess not. Okay. All right, so this is gonna be like a maze, and I'm gonna try to explore every single uh, corner of this place. To make sure I get like every freaking uh, treasure in here. Lumos. I think using Lumos might be a little better. I just feel like something's gonna like jump at me any second. This can't be the witch's tomb. I nah, it'd to be too further. easy. It'd be way too easy. All right, so that's two. All right, so yeah, the last one's gonna be like right here then. There we go. Don't mind if I do. Lumos. Oh, wow, there's a good amount of collectibles around here. Uh, yeah, I think that was it. All right. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Yep. There they are. I knew it. Yeah, honestly, inf infirm. What's it called? Uh, fucking uh, incendio. There we go. Is like the best freaking uh, weapon against these dudes right now. Especially with like the blast radius. Incendio. 
Honestly, that wasn't too bad. The fact that they're level 20 and I'm already, like, level 30... Honestly, helped me out a lot. Revelio. Wait, there's a chest up there. I don't want to leave that. Expelliarmus. The question is, how exactly am I going to get up there, though? Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's not going to work out. Alright, so, uh... I mean, it's not like I could fit anything through there, so there's that. Rebellion. Like, I, I just don't want to leave that thing behind, because, I mean, it looks, uh... Oh, <laughs> they mean to do that. It looks pretty, uh... Pretty big. Yeah, funny thing, I'm just gonna have to come back later for it or something. But then again... It doesn't show me anything I could, like, pull in here, possibly. To, like, help me, uh, climb the wall, so, I mean... There has to be a way, right? Wait, what is this? Hold on. Would that work? I don't think it did. Uh, let's see. It wouldn't be a puzzle, would it? No, I wouldn't. All right. Yeah, if anything, I'll just come back to this later, unfortunately. Incendium. Oh, wait. Hold on. What the heck? <laughs> oh, wow. It's just a school uniform. Okay, yeah. That was not worth it. Lumos. Oh, let me see if I could gather all uh, three of them. Oh, I can't. Okay. Um, mm. There we go. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Oh, it didn't work. That's weird. Incendio. So if we could power it somehow, and that's uh, what I've been trying to do with this thing. Oh wait, hold on. Let me actually try something. Oh, I see. Okay. Does that work? No, nah, it doesn't. Oh, I see this door. I didn't even realize this. What the heck? I'm freaking blind over here. Jesus. Yeah, now you saw that one right there. What is this? Uh... There's got to be a way to get up there. Lumos. That middle thing has to mean something. That's the problem. Like, I'm able to put that there. I got... Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Accio. Nope. Defolso. There we go. Did that do anything? Okay, it did. Okay, okay, okay. So, it is timed. All right. So, uh... All right. So, we're getting someone somewhere. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Lumos. There we go. Rebellion. 
So I was actually about to move on to the next area, and that, like thankfully I turned around, and I noticed this thing behind me, which is basically another corridor. So uh, yeah, before we move any further, I want to explore this real quick. This honestly looks like another puzzle. Oh yeah, I think it is. All right, so let's see what we have here. Uh. So I should be able to pull that, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, I can. Okay, sweet. Nice. Wait, shouldn't this be working? Oh, okay, there we go. Nice. But how? I always thought that was really fucked up how we're like creating bridges out of skulls and stuff. That's like really dark. Just put this over there, maybe complete the bridge. There we go. And just for like some like safe measure, I'll just use these two just in case. Are they piling up? I don't think they are. Are they? No, they're not. You know what? I think, yeah, it should be safe to walk by. All right. Let's get that. I'm just going to jump down here to see if there's, like, anything else. Because I think I saw something, like, glowing down here. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay, hold on. Uh, what am I supposed to use this for, though? No, yeah, I think that was it. All right, uh, so I think that was just in case. I assume. Okay, yeah, I think we could move on from here. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. It's sealed shut from the other side. That's right, so what he's talking about. This. Down I go. No other way. Ooh, yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna hold off on that real quick. <laughs> Gotta get my money. I like Mr. Krabs at this point. Yeah, so normally these type of locations do have a crap ton of uh, locations to do puzzles uh, in order to get rewards. That's what I kind of like about them. The thing I don't like, though, is the fact that a lot of the times you don't get that good of rewards, in my opinion. Is there anything back there? Hold on. Uh, yes, there is. I think those boxes belong to the uh, customization back at the castle. Let me see if I can move this real quick. There we go. <laughs> really gotta climb it like that? I mean, it worked out. Oh, never mind. Alright, now we could uh, jump into those uh, murky waters. <laughs> Why do you scream like that? <laughs> It's like a freaking maze. It just keeps going with like different routes and stuff. Oh, okay, okay, so okay, so this is just a shortcut. Okay, so that's good. That is very good. Looks like a freaking boss room.
Oh, I was right. Jesus. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's barely doing anything at this point. Oh my god, there's still more? Alright, um... Even zombies over here. Yeah, not even those things are gonna damage them. Like, they really can't take damage other than with, uh, fire. we go finally jesus there's a crap ton of skulls over here to be honest i still haven't discovered what these skulls are for like i think they're uh, for a potion since i also saw them in uh j really pippin's nice. uh, shop all right so since i know how to do this already this should be a lot easier but uh let me actually check if there's anything we could uh, collect around here Nope. Okay. Yeah, so this is time, so I gotta be very freaking fast about this. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Damn it. Okay. There we go. Wait, we can't even climb this. What the heck? This looks even more... Oh, okay, I think I understand that. All right. So... So I think on the last one, Rebellion. yeah, on the last moth, I got to figure out a way to put it right there. Oh, this is going to be hard, though. How am I supposed to do that? Because, yeah, if I take the moth away, it's not going to work anymore, right? The little, uh, oh, wait, there's another one over here. I didn't even notice this one. Oh, shit. All right, so this one is the one we're supposed to put back there in uh, that thing. There we go. Rebellion. Now I've got to be very freaking quick about this. Lumos. There we go. Nice. See, everything paid off, you know? It took me a while to figure out that other uh, puzzle, the first one. But it's like, now it's freaking a piece of cake. Place. Lord Gok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. I kind of have a feeling it's not going to be in there anymore. Oh, you can't turn those on. Okay. Revelio. I was gonna turn on the I was gonna turn those things on, the the torches to make it more dramatic, but I guess not. <laughs> the dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lord Gok won't like this. Oh yeah. I freaking knew it. Alright, so uh Incendio. has nothing to do with this. Better show this to Lord Gok. 
Signet Ring. So I assume this could be the people for um for Rookwood. Oh, there's a mechanism to open this door. Revelio. Just double checking. All right. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I yep. saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Yeah, dude, I feel like even if we get the helmet, and let's say even if, like, uh, Lodgok does take the helmet to Ranrock, I feel like he's not going to trust them. Like, yeah, it's like a special helmet, and it's very important to, like, goblin kind, but I just don't feel like it's going to work out. I just don't feel like it. Oh, great. And there's a freaking troll in here as well. So there's that. At least he's also attacking them. So there's that. And now I made an enemy out of him. Oh, that was a one-shot kill. Nice. Yeah, that's not working out. Oh, I kind of feel bad for the uh, troll when they're beating him up. Oh, that didn't work. All right. Oh, that's because it's one of those uh, big boy wizards. Uh, Redacto, hold on. What are your full spells? Electricity, incendiary, Accio, the Bolso. It's a funny little detail where even if you use the uh, expel the armors on them, like they go pick up their wand. <laughs> There we go. Unfortunately, I didn't complete any dueling feats. I mean, at this point in time in the story, I feel like he's already, like, taken down so many things. It doesn't really matter if they believe you or not. There we go. Alright, so another, uh, okay, yeah, disarm that an enemy. And she can freaking bring in in fury, dude. That's crazy, dude. I've seen you, Jewel. Your strategies won't work. To hold them. If it is, descend them. Let me see. You're a Jewel. Incendio. You're only delaying the inevitable. I love doing that move, the Sendo. It's freaking awesome. Alright, yeah, I think that was it. Alright. We'll just collect this. What are those? 
Mushrooms? Yeah, I'll take those too. Alright, so we got the helmet. Hold on, let me actually look at the helmet real quick. If I end the, the video. It's funny that we actually have a helmet just like that. That we got from uh, doing a goblin quest. Uh, let me actually look at it real quick. Uh, where's gear? There we go. I haven't actually worn it though. Yep, right there. There it is. That thing right there. It looks decent. It looks kind of small to us though. <laughs> Rebellion. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Yeah, that was a little bit fishy what he did there with uh, with his search. So yeah, he definitely knows more than uh, what he's telling us. Like, I do feel like he's he might, like, um, double-cross us, maybe. Like, maybe not, because he knows Serona as well and they're friends, but I don't know. Yeah, Hello, I, I kind of have trouble, I you know, you trusting this dude. I would like your help with something. A little. Alright, so we're gonna go back to Serona. Oh my god, freaking Sebastian. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. All right, awesome. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my uncle. We're getting a lot. Some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Was that it? All right. And the rest are basically uh, another side quest. So, like I mentioned before, that once I finished this main story mission, I mentioned this, like, a couple episodes back. Uh, but, yeah, once I finished this main story mission, I was going to focus on other, uh, you know, side quests around the map. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing for the next couple... English? Jesus. Um, for the next couple of episodes, I'm going to be focusing on these side quests, on uh, some that are around this area, you know, because we do have a couple of them. And I want to do every single side quest... In this game so uh yeah i'm gonna be doing that for the next couple episodes and then finally we're gonna go back into the main story but uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and uh yeah i guess i'll see you guys next time peace